Alright, hey guys, this is Nick Brown at JTEC today, and today we are going to be doing a hood inspection. Under, as you can see, we're working on a 2008 Peterbilt 386 with a Cummins ISX 15 liter diesel engine. Okay, one of the first things first, uh, whenever I do my hood inspection, I typically look at engine components or engine parts. Okay. Um, first thing I look at is the air filter. Do, is the air filter dirty? Is the air filter uh, restricted in any kind of way to where it could uh, lead to uh, the engine possibly running uh, codes or could possibly lead to the engine just basically overall running like crap? Okay, that's a driver complaint, you know, just prevents the driver from having to uh, take the truck by the shop and uh, have it take have people take a look at it have technicians take a look at it okay so uh, one of the next things you also want to look at is what I typically look at is I start looking at fluids okay engine oil okay your engine oil fill on the ISX 15 liter is right here this is your dipstick now <laughs> um, just twist it and pull it up you know with a diesel engine with the diesel engine, it's um, this oil's. I mean, it's black. It is just black as black as can be. And the reason for that being is because diesel engines they are very high in carbon. Okay, a diesel combustion produces just a lot of carbon, and that gets around to the engine. But that doesn't stop us from uh, analyzing oil just by visual, just by looking at it. Okay. What you can do is what I've seen other technicians take in the past is take a magnet and see if we can get any metal flakes coming out of the oil. The metal flakes will indicate that there is some type of wear in the engine, whether it's coming from the top end of the engine where the camshaft and any kind of valve train components, or whether it's coming from the bottom end of the engine, whether it's coming from mains, rod bearings, um, or also with that being at the bottom, could also determine whether the front uh, gear set our front gears are getting torn up because of lap lack of lubrication or any other uh, type of wear. Okay, so just want to check the engine oil for that. Also, you want to check the engine oil level. Okay, obviously these engines have to have oil in order to stay running. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind. Okay, uh, next thing I typically look at is the coolant. Okay, up there, coolant. I can't get around to the other side of the truck. Um, but I can tell you what to look for. Okay, you open, obviously, you do this when the engine's cold, either that or you relieve the pressure properly from the system in a safe way. Okay, you want to take a look at the coolant and make sure it's cloudy, or make sure it's not cloudy. If the coolant, if you stick a light up to your, near the tank, and you can see the bottom of the uh, coolant tank, um, typically, that is a good thing. That means the coolant is clean. That means the coolant is fairly new. Um, these types of coolant, or what coolant does over time is it'll become cloudy, and also just over time of opening the cap, closing it, opening and closing it, it'll contaminate the coolant system. When you contaminate the coolant system inside an engine, you, uh, there's many things that can happen. It could start um, tearing up the water pump. That's the first thing it'll typically tear up, because what will happen is you got that water pump spinning in there so fast, the turbine of the water pump, and all those contaminants inside the water pump, it'll actually start to tear up the turbine, itself okay and also over time when coolant does get old um, I've heard of situations where it will start to cavitate metal inside uh, the water pump uh, the water pump on a Cummins ISX 15 is on the other side near where the oil uh, cooler is um, I can't show you in this part but it is on the other side I'll get around back to when we get the other side of the engine okay next thing I want to look at besides coolant uh, look at your washer fluid just for a customer um, just for your customer uh, purpose, uh, you always want to make sure the washer fluid is just topped off just for their purpose. Also, you want to make sure that their washer fluid tank isn't cracked. Okay, if it's cracked and their, wash and their windshield gets really dirty and they need to get washed, and it wants to say they're out in the road somewhere where they're not near a truck stop, uh, definitely want to make sure that they have this stuff and definitely make sure, want to make sure that the tank isn't cracked so that way they can wash their windshield so that way they can see through their windshield while they're driving down the road. Another thing you want to look at is you want to look at the power steering fluid. This power steering fluid, um, over time, uh, typically what power steering fluid looks like, uh, it'll either be a clear-ish color, sort of kind of a, um, what you can do is, what I do is I, I wear a white uh, latex glove. Um, I 
brush the uh, dipstick of the power steering fluid against my glove and I see what color it is. Um, I'm not going to do it in this video, but typically what a uh, brand new power steering fluid is, is it's a darker red. It's a, um, not a, not a too dark of red. Um, it, it's not like this Cummins red. Um, it's more like a pinkish reddish color. Um, it, it can also be a pink color, but over time as power steering fluid gets old and as power steering pump just gets wear inside it uh, you'll see metal shavings uh, that's one of those things kind of like what you can do with the engine oil you can t t uh, take a magnet up to it to see if there's any uh, pieces of metal inside it also the color of the fluid like I mentioned earlier uh, what you can do is you can tell if the fluid is old and when it gets old it starts to discolor it starts to darken like when I'm talking dark and almost turn sort of kind of you get little black spots and or a little black uh, discolorations inside the fluid okay also um, next thing what we're going to be looking at uh, typically what I do on under hood inspection just make sure the your charge air cooler pipes are the um, the clamps are tight and make sure they're not loose make sure the charge air cooler boots are um, not cracked obviously not dry rotted because these withstand 30 psi 35 psi boost um, constant expanding under loads so you don't want one of these to all of a sudden bust open because that will inconvenience the driver hat of course on the pull over off the side of the road also next thing you want to work at since we're on this side of the engine is look for any broken wires just look for any kind of broken wires. Okay, you also want to look at the U-joint uh, play inside the steering, steering shaft. Okay, um, also any leaks. Leaks are a big thing. Uh, any oil leaks, you typically have to do that under the engine. Okay, um, this particular one is not leaking. The only thing I noticed was by the PTO. There was a, a not a horrible leak by the PTO. It's way on down there. If I can take a look at it. Way back there, you see where that little red piece is? That's where I see the most leaking come from. Also, what you also want to look at is, is like, for example, over there we have our one of our Freightliner Cascadias with the Detroit DD-15. And I know on the Detroit DD-15s, the water... Uh, uh, fuel water separator is r like located like right here um, if it's up to the top um, go ahead and drain it for the customer definitely want to keep that up uh, or else it will not be able to take any more water okay uh, your fuel water separator for the Cummins right here is right here uh, your fuel uh, filter is right there okay for the fuel system okay and that's it with this side of the engine all right, so now we are on the turbo side, the exhaust side of the engine. Okay, once again, I want to look for leaks. Um, typically on this side of the engine, I'm going to also look for exhaust leaks. Any trails of black carbon coming from any orifices or crevices against the exhaust manifold, against any gaskets right here where the turbo meets the exhaust manifold, or right here where the clamps are. Uh, look at the EGR cooler. Okay, definitely don't want exhaust emissions bypassing before it can go through the the uh, emission system any kind of emission system that is also I want to look for um, as far as leaks as far as um, what the engine looks like as part of our cabin hood inspection you also want to look at the, uh, the suspension okay the suspension you want to look for cracked leaf springs now on this in this case we have a leaf spring down here Let me adjust my light Okay. The top leaf spring right there, that is your main leaf spring. The bottom leaf spring right there, um, that is just held on by the top leaf spring, and that's there for extra tension uh, to support the weight of the truck. Now, if the top leaf spring is cracked or compromised in any kind of way, that's going to be a DOT hazard. Okay. Um, you also want to look for, besides the leaf spring, uh, if it is compromised in any way, that is a DOT hazard, as I was saying earlier. Um, next thing you want to look at is you want to look at the shocks. Make sure there's not leaking. Okay, typically you see oil right there where the shock uh, telescopes into the top of the shock. Um, make sure there's not leaking. Also, your brake chamber is down here. Uh, go ahead and check and make sure that air lines going to the front brake chamber is not dry rotted or not leaking. What you would do is you would turn, uh, crank the engine over, just air up the system, make sure you don't have any leaks. 
Also, while I wasn't on the other side of the engine and I said this, um, we have a bunch of air hoses over on that side. What you're gonna you're gonna want to do the same thing. You're gonna test for, uh, go ahead crank the engine over and test for leaks on the other side of the engine. Okay, okay, because that's where your airlines, your air compressor is on the other side, and that's where the main airlines supply lines go into the cab, which go to the rest of the brake components. Okay, so with that, guys, um, that's all I can think about. Uh, uh, as far as our uh, hood inspection, so with that, I hope you guys, I uh, hope this was a very informational video. Alright, so with that, see you guys later.